good morning uh, fellow aviators and enthusiasts. Uh, my name is Pete Ronfell and along with main man Paul Sanders we have the privilege of being the UK agents for TL Ultralight. Today we are actually at the home of TL at Radic Kralova, some 80 miles east of Prague, uh, where they manufacture the whole range. We've imported in the past the Sting and the Sirius light sport aircraft very successfully. Today I want to introduce you to this aircraft, the Stream. Retractable, tandem, hot ship with 140 knots, cruise, and yet handles really in a docile manner very similar to the Sting S4. What we've done is to get the opinion of a typical Microlight pilot and we have here Wayne Holmes who happens to be our webmaster. Where Top Gear say they're uh, going to put a star in a reasonably priced car we've put a reasonably priced pilot in a hot ship and we're interested to see what his reaction is. Now, Paul, no, we have actually had a, had a briefing with Wayne, but he's not flown the aircraft yet, and we're anxious to get his reaction. So here goes, we're going to ask Wayne to get on board, and we'll get his impressions when the flight is completed. Right, Paul, can you just run me through all these buttons on here? So the tight China hat at the top, this is up and down for your elevator trim, left and right for your aileron trim. Red and green button are for scrolling through the stored menu of the radio frequencies. Yeah. Black button selects the radio frequency and puts it onto standby. Yeah. Logical. Front trigger button is for PTT. Makes sense. Blue button is to disengage the autopilot. Why would I need to disengage the autopilot? In it's, the back? It's if anybody in, becomes incapacitated in the front. Of course, and then I can take over complete control. Yes. Yeah, yeah, makes sense, logical. So you're not kind of locked in here at the mercy of anyone. If you're a half a pilot, you can Get the thing on the ground. And yeah. obviously you've got the emergency deployment of the parachute in the rear. Yeah. Got the master flap to enable the flaps in the rear. Yeah. You need to switch that on first before this becomes active. Before that will work, yeah. And then down this side you've got gear control so that will actually deploy the undercarriage yeah. and throttle and propeller yeah. controls so, you can so come the aircraft's fully dual control.
well, Wayne? How was it for you? Quite speechless. Unfortunately, we had some turbulence, so we didn't get the smooth ride. But the biggest thing that hit me was, on the ground it looks like a beast. In the air, it's a kitten. Excellent. It's easy to fly. Um, unfortunately, I didn't set up the Garmin, so I had really no instruments. So I had to fly it by feel. And I don't know, you'll have to ask the expert whether my turns were okay, but they felt good to me. Yeah. I'm sure the um, uh, turn and the centre of gravity was okay. It might have been slightly off. I did some, what do you say, 30 degree or 60 degree? I don't know whether the pilot's listening. But um, I think we did, a, we did a couple of steep, maybe into 60. Um, and the 30 degree turns were so gentle. It's it's a dream to fly. Um, I was, if I'm honest, a little I was filled with a bit of in, intrepidation, um, thinking this is going to be a bugger. But no, uh, so no diff adequate differences training, plenty of training, and Radic Caliber in particular. You'd be quite happy to be flying these aircraft. I yeah, I, I don't think it would take long at all. Uh, obviously there's there's the undercarriage to think about, which is not normal to most microlight pilots. Um, there's the speed, um, but coming into land, it felt gentle. It, it slows down quite a lot from your cruise speed, obviously. Um, the landing was, I didn't land it, of course, but it, it just, it seemed well, quite easy. For that, and thanks for doing the flight. It's very helpful to get a good feel for how uh, normal, if you wish, uh, microlight pilot will react to uh, looking at this very highly sophisticated aircraft. Thank you very much, Wayne. You're welcome. I enjoyed it. Uh, good afternoon again, um, fellow aviators. Earlier on we took a look at the stream and we thought you'd be interested to know the stream is a fighter pilot's dream. Great for touring and it's fast. Equally fast, but of a different category altogether. Still a microlight, we have the two-seat retractable Sparker. Now we must say the Sparker is still subject to UK approval but we are working on it. We know that there's interest in it so we'll be working hard to get it through the UK approval and at that point we'll no doubt get some flight test reports out to you and uh, do it maybe a similar exercise as we've done with our colleague Wayne to get his reaction to flying this equally wonderful sophisticated micro light aircraft. Thank you Wayne. Oh and uh, by the way as a footnote we thought you'd be interested to know that all these aircraft are powered by the Rotax 912 ULS engine and training can be provided here at Craddock Ralliver the difference is training but it's our view that typical pilots used to Sky Ranger and similar aircraft would have no difficulty at all in getting to grips with these wonderful high, high performance aircrafts which let's not forget can still be flown on the Microlite licenses. Our thanks to TL Ultralight for making us so welcome as they always do uh, and uh, we hope to be able to pass more information on the Sparker as it progresses through the UK approval system. We're working on it. Thank you for your time.